Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Destiny from The Creative Reading Coach. Before we get started, if you need to grab you a pen and some paper or a pencil and a notebook, go ahead and do that. My screen is set up with my pen and paper here and my book that we're gonna be reading. And today's book is called Garrett Morgan and the Traffic Signal. It is an informational text, meaning it is a text that's going to give us information all about the man who helped create, or I should say created, the traffic signal, okay? Our question that we're gonna be answering today is right over here. And I wanna take a moment to highlight exactly what it is that we are looking for. It says, what problem did Mr. Garrett Morgan solve and how? Why do you think it's important? So I'm gonna highlight that. What problem did Mr. Garrett Morgan solve and how did he solve that problem? And the last part of that question is asking, why do you think it's important? Okay, what I have right here, I have my problem, my solution, and why do you think it was important, okay? Pause the video. If you wanna take your notes, I would suggest you make three boxes. Box one, box two, box three. All right, let's get started with our book. Now you know that an informational text is always going to give us some information and it's going to provide some text features that we may not always see. So the first thing that I recognize here, oops, I gotta go back, that I recognize here is that my book, not only is it informational, but it lets me know it has taken place back in the old days. And I feel crazy saying that, but that's important to know because the setting lets us know exactly why we're reading about it. So for example, being that this picture is black and white, is gray, we know that it's not taking place now or the traffic light was not invented now. It was invented in the past, okay? So keep that in mind. The next thing I recognize is, is that I have a table of contents. And if you're not sure what a table of contents does is, it lets us know exactly what we're about to read. So for example, on page four, I'm gonna be reading about the traffic problems. On page seven, I'm gonna be reading about my plan and I'm very paying, paying very close attention to that because I know I'm looking for the solution, right? Then I know that I'm gonna be reading about the traffic signal on page nine. And then I'm gonna be learning about the man with the plan and I am assuming that it is Mr. Garrett Morgan, okay? And then the glossary is on page 16. Let's take a look at page 16. What is a glossary? What a glossary does is it lets us know exactly the words that we're gonna be working with. So for example, we have the word buggies and that tells us that those are carts with wheels pulled by one horse and that can carry a person. So let's go back and see if I see a buggy. Do I see a buggy? Where's the buggy? Where's the buggy? Where's the buggy? Buggy, buggy, buggy. <gasps> Boom, there is a buggy. It carries one person and it is pulled by a horse, okay? My next word on my glossary is the word busy. So for example, busy means something that is full of activity. For example, you may be busy when you get home from school because you have a lot of things to do. The next thing is, the next word is corners. And that's where places, I'm sorry, that's places where two streets meet. So let's go get a good visual of that. Uh, where can I find a good corner? Where can I, oh, this is perfect. This is where two streets meet right here. It is at the corner of the street. Here's another corner. Okay. My next word that I'm going to be focusing on or that I need to know is plan. It's a way of making or doing something. So let's say you want to make yourself a sandwich. You never made yourself a sandwich before. You have to have a plan. First, you're going to get your bread. Then you're going to get your meat, your mayonnaise, and your mustard. You're going to put the mayonnaise and mustard on the bread. Then you're going to put the meat on. And then you're going to close them together. That is your plan, all right? Our next word is problem. So those are things that are hard to work out or they're hard to solve. Um, for you, for example, it may be hard for you right now learning how to tie your shoe, okay? My next word is a signal. A signal 
is an action or sound or an object used to send a message, okay? So for example, you may hear a whistle blow while you're playing your favorite sport. If you're playing soccer, if you're playing basketball, um, the signal to stop that game would be the whistle. And then my last word that we need to know is the word traffic. And that is the movement of people or things along a street. So for example, oh, look at that. That is a lot of traffic right here. See all those cars moving, okay? So we're gonna be reading about Garrett Morgan and the traffic signal. And those are the words that you are going to need to know while I read this out to you. Let's get started. Oh, before we do that, just a quick recap. What are we looking for? We are looking for the problem, the solution, and why do we think it was important? In the 1920s, the streets were getting very busy. Many things shared the streets. Ooh, remember we talked about things being in the old, in the past? Well, this lets us know that it's in the 1920s. Cars were on the streets. Horses and buggies were on the streets. People and bikes were on the streets too. A man named Garrett Morgan lived in Cleveland, Ohio. He saw a car on the street hit a horse and buggy. He saw that the streets were not safe. Making a plan. Each day, more traffic was on the streets. Mr. Morgan knew there would be more traffic problems. He thought about how to solve these problems. Mr. Morgan knew Cleveland needed a way to help the traffic. He thought about how to do this. He made a plan for a traffic signal. Ah, oh, look at his plan right here, guys. This is his sketch. The traffic signal had arms. The arms went up and down. Look at that, guys. Look at the arms. These are the arms here. And so when it was time to stop, all the arms would come up and say stop. All right? And then it was time to go. We knew it was time to go based on which way the arm was pointing. Later, traffic signals used lights. The lights told traffic when to stop and when to go. Mr. Morgan's traffic signal could also stop all traffic. Then it was safe for people to cross the street. The traffic signal was put on street corners. It was easy to make traffic stop and go at corners. Mr. Morgan's plan worked. The man with a plan. Garrett Morgan made the street safe for people cars, and horses, and buggies. Mr. Morgan also made other things. He made a mask to help keep firefighters safe. He also started a newspaper in Cleveland. Mr. Morgan was a problem solver. He saw a problem. He looked for a way to solve it. All right, let's go over here. Let's use our graphic organizer. I have my sticky notes. Uh-oh, no, I don't. There we go. Have my sticky note. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here. What is the problem in the story? Now, I could just answer that, but I want to make sure I go back in the text and find exactly what the problem was before I just put it on the sticky note, okay? So I'm going back. It says, in the 1920s, the street were, streets were getting very busy. Many things shared the streets. Mm, that could be. We could put there. We could start with that. So we're gonna say this in the 1920s, the streets were busy. So that's one problem. And please make sure you pause this at any moment if you wanna um, write down what I have. Make your paper match my paper. Cars were on the streets, horses and buggies were on the streets, people and bikes were on, on the streets too. Mm, yeah, we can leave that off because we already know. That's just basically letting us know that it was real busy. It had horses, it had cars, 
and it also had people and it also had bikes. So that let us know it was busy. Anything else? A man named Garrett Morgan lived in Cleveland, Ohio. He saw a car on the street hit a horse and buggy. He saw that the streets were not safe. That's what we want. The streets were busy and he saw that the streets were not safe. Okay, so we're going to write that. He saw the streets were not safe. All right. And we know they weren't safe because look at this. So Arthur even gave us a clue. How do we know they weren't safe? It said he saw a car on the street hit a horse and a buggy. Definitely unsafe. Okay. So we have our problem here. I'm going to make this bigger for you. Pause it at any moment if I can. Hold on. Pause it at any moment to make sure your paper matches my paper. There we go. Now we're looking for our solution. How did Mr. Garrett solve that problem? So let's get our sticky note. We're going to place it here. And although we could say he created the traffic signal, I wanted to make sure that we go back in the text and look. So let's see, making a plan. Each day more traffic was on the streets. Mr. Morgan knew there would be more traffic problems. He thought about how to solve these problems. Does that tell us how he did it? No, it just simply told us that he thought about how to solve these problems. We wanna know how he exactly did that. Mr. Morgan knew Cleveland needed a way to help the traffic. He thought about how to do this. He made a plan for a traffic signal. So we're going to write that. He made a plan for a traffic signal. I highlighted it there. I'm going to write it here. He made a plan for a traffic signal. But I don't think we're quite done, guys. I think there's more. Let's see. The traffic signal had arms. The arms went up and down. There we go. I want to add that. I want to put that the traffic signal had arms. And when I say arms, guys, that's a multiple meaning word. That means I'm not talking about the arms that you have right now that you're using to write. These are actually the arms. And um, I guess we can call it arms because they can move up and down, but they're not arms like the arms that we have on our bodies, okay? So I just wanna be clear about that. The traffic signal had arms um, that went up and down, all right? Let's see if we can get any other information here. I'm gonna highlight our detail. Later, traffic signals Use lights. The lights told traffic when to stop and when to go. Um, we're going to leave that detail out because it was talking about later. We want to know exactly what Mr. Garrett did. So we're going to leave that alone, okay? So we have our information here. The problem was in the 1920s, the streets were busy. He saw the streets were not safe. And we know he saw that because he saw a car, I think it was, hit a horse in a buggy. The solution was he made a plan for a traffic signal and that traffic signal had arms that went up and down. So now we're here. Why do you think that that was important? Why do you think that was important? I want you to stop and take a second and think about that. Pause for a second. Why do you think that was important? Hmm. I'm going to go back and look at my text. Why do you think it was important? Boom. There we go. Now we know if it wasn't safe, that if we did not have his traffic signal, then our streets would still not be safe. Look at that example here. He saw a street hit, the, hit a horse and a buggy. So I'm gonna restate my question, which means I'm gonna repeat what my question is asking me. So I'm gonna say, I think it is important to have traffic signals to keep our streets safe. Pause the video and make your paper match my paper, okay? Pause the video and make sure your paper matches my paper. Awesome. All right, it is. Guess what time it is, guys? Guess what time it is, pop quiz? Here we go. I wanna see if you are really paying attention. 
Let me pull my questions up right here. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. We'll just leave it like that. All right, number one, what is the main idea of this book? So I'm going to highlight what this question is asking me. What is the main idea of this book? And when I say main idea, that means what is this book mostly about? So we have, uh uh-oh, let me take this off. So we have A, cars are dangerous. Do you think that is the correct answer? Or B, Mr. Garrett created traffic lights because the roads were busy during the 1920s. Or C, cars and horses should not be on the road at the same time. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to choose your answer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is drum roll, please. The correct answer is B. Mr. Garrett created traffic lights because the roads were busy during the 1920s. How do I know that? Easy, guys. I'm going to go back and look at my text. It says in the 1920s, the streets were getting very busy. That's my first detail that gave me that answer. My second detail is a man named Mr. Garrett Morgan lived in Cleveland, Ohio. He saw a car on the street hit a horse and a buggy. He saw that the streets were not safe. And there's another detail. He made a plan for a traffic signal. So if you did not get it right, it is okay, but I hope you understand it now. Question number two, here we go. Uh Uh-oh, here we go. Question number two. Which Senate shows the streets were busy? So this is a good question, guys. I'm not asking you a particular answer to go back in the text. I'm asking you to show me which one of these sentences show that the streets were busy. So he thought about how to solve these problems. Does that tell me that the streets were busy? Or B, Mr. Morgan knew Cleveland needed a way to help the traffic. Does that tell me that the streets were busy? Or C, cars were on the street. Horses and buggies were on the streets. People and bikes were on the streets too. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Which one of those shows that the that the streets were busy? If you chose letter choice C, you are correct. Now remember, I can't go back in my text and really say, yeah, that gives me the answer. I have to actually look at my choices. So when I look at choice A, it says he thought about how to solve these problems. That doesn't say the streets were busy. It just says that he thought about solving a problem. When I look at letter choice B, Mr. Morgan knew Cleveland needed a way to help the traffic. Nope, that doesn't tell me that the streets were busy. Kind of, but not really. It just says that he knew that there needed to be a way to help the traffic. But when I look at letter choice C, that definitely tells me that the streets are busy. Because guess what? It says cars are on the streets. Horses and buggies are on the streets. People and bikes were on the streets too. Everybody was on the streets. All right, let's move to number three. Here we go. How have the traffic signals changed over the years? Mm. How have the traffic signals changed over the years? So, A, traffic signals now use lights and don't have arms. B, traffic signals now are only used for walking. Or C, Traffic signals now are only used in larger cities. I'm going to go back and look at my text for this, okay? Let's go back and look at my text because I remember them talking about that. I just got to find it. Huh. The traffic signal had arms and the arms went up and down. Okay. A says that they don't have arms and that this was how they were in the past. Let's see how they are now. Later. Ooh, that's that word I want to know. Later, traffic signals use lights. I'm I'm not going to tell you the answer. I'm going to let you choose. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is traffic signals now use lights and don't have arms. The correct answer is A. All right, last question, guys. Uh-oh, if I can get down there. There we go. Which of the following did Mr. Morgan not invent? Now, that's important for you to pay attention to. Which one did he not invent? All right, so what did he not invent? All right, let's go look in our text. Huh. Oh, here we go. It says, Mr. Morgan also made other things. He made a mask to help keep firefighters safe. And he also started a newspaper. So which one did he not invent? Is it A, spacesuit, B, mask for firefighters, or C, newspaper for his hometown in Cleveland? 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is A. He did not invent a spacesuit. How do I know that, guys? When I look right here, the text says Mr. Morgan also made other things. He made a mask to help keep firefighters safe, and he started a newspaper, which gets me over here. I can cross this out because he made that. And I can cross out newspaper for his hometown in Cleveland. Guys, that is it. I am going to scroll up. I want you to make sure your paper matches my paper so you can show your mom all your awesome work that you just did with Miss Destiny. Pause this video, copy what you need to copy. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next video. Remember, Always, always, always take your time while you're reading. See you soon.